Hi guys. Well, <laughs> hi Lindsay. Say hi to everybody on Periscope. We're doing a video. <laughs> no problem. Hi everybody. How are you? Oh, hi Linda. How are you? All right. I'm hoping that this time it ends up not flipping around on us. So we'll we'll hope for the best today. I'm glad to see everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I, um, been in the studio today actually cleaning a lot and organizing um and i had a card that i posted uh two days ago that we did last night with um hey how are you um i did them last night with my tall oak stampers down in uh, lake ridge and we had a blast and the ladies loved it so i wanted to share um some people were kind of unsure of how to do it really simple and <laughs> this won't take us long so um, I wanted to show you we're going to be using the um, what I love set from celebration oh somebody called me gorgeous who was that hello Lena um, hey Shan how are you um, I'm gonna uh, be showing you how to do this faux tile card for those of you who haven't done it before and um, it's really pretty can you guys see how cool that is now some of the ladies last night were going oh my gosh we're gonna make that because they thought you actually had to go and put the stickers in order no thank you so much thanks for the adorbs um so we're gonna make this really simple easy quick and easy and i'm telling you right now this is going to be one that's going to be coming out a lot on my blog because i think this would be gorgeous using seashells and the coral and um lots of different designs um just to show that that the tile and and how it makes the colors pop so i'm going to show you how to do this one are you ready all right here we go bring in some grid paper so we don't get my wood grain on messy you're going to start with um a sheet of the avery labels these little guys here and the these are the one and a half by three quarter inch avery labels and if you look on the back, they're number 6737. And I know this is an old technique, guys, I, but let me tell you, I know, so glad they would not be fun putting them back on there, adding those labels back in. But you get a bunch. They say there's 525 labels in here. I think I had 20, 24 sheets when I started. So we made a lot of cards last night. So anyway, those are the Avery labels, and they are 6737 if you missed that. Welcome everybody, glad to see you. All right, so we start with our sheet of labels and the three colors we're gonna be using on this card are Watermelon Wonder, Crushed Curry, and Cucumber Crush. Can you guys see those? All right, if you are having trouble with the um, uh, comments uh, covering up anything that I'm doing, you can swipe and uh, I know, right? Do you love my splint? How gorgeous. I really haven't blinged it up. It's a little scary. Um, I'm hoping to not be wearing it much longer. That's my hope. Um, anyway, for those of you who have the comments at the bottom down here, and the when people keep posting, we want everybody to post. But you can swipe over so that you don't see the chat, just so you can get a better um, a better view. Kimberly, I saw you, you check in out there from California. So if you want to swipe over, um, you won't be seeing the comments in the chat at the bottom so you can see better, okay? All right, so we're gonna do Watermelon Wonder, Crushed Curry, and Cucumber Crush. All right, so we're gonna start with our labels and we're gonna start with our Crushed Curry. Now you can do these in any color. I've seen them done um, in several colors. Actually, Tammy White did a really pretty one the other day with it. Now, um, the stamps that come with the What I Love stamp set it's actually three stamps for your floral image. It has an outline stamp. It has, oh, what's my splint for? I fell down and went boom. And I found out the other day that I don't bounce. At 51, I don't bounce any longer. <laughs> I just go splat. Oh, what are those pots? Pots? What pots? I don't know. The labels? We're going to stamp on the labels, so I don't, oh, these? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, this is my ink. Um, I opened it 
my ink pad and we're going to be using crushed curry first <laughs> all right so when uh, we're doing the uh, multi-step stamping there on this one there are actually three images we're just going to use the two like i said there's an outline image and there's a solid image and there's another image that has a little bit less coverage on the flower itself we're just going to use these two. First one we're going to use is the outline stamp and we're going to ink it up in our crushed curry i'm going to stamp it in the middle full strength like that we're going to ink it again full strength and you'll notice I'm keeping this little part here, the little arrow at the top pointing up. This is so when I go to line up my multiple um, stamps, all of them have that little, um, little arrow part there that sticks up so you know which way your stamps will line up. All right, so we're just gonna do a couple more, like so, like that. All righty, so that was our outline stamp. Now we're gonna take our solid stamp and we're going to ink that up in the crushed curry also and I'm going to stamp off so it's going to take some of that ink off of the stamp and I'm going to go in it doesn't have to be perfectly on the outline Ooh, but I did that one really well mark that down in history stamp it again stamp it off and bring it a little over here and you can see it's just taking enough of that ink off so it's giving that um, a little bit faded color back there not full strength now I've I've seen people do it both ways just doing it color on color and it's beautiful just depends on how bold you want your colors and how vivid you want them to be all right there we go like that okie doke all right once we've done that we'll close our crushed curry and we're going to get our cucumber crush like so and we'll get the long this is the long leaf uh, stamp like so and we're just gonna go and kind of randomly fill in doesn't have to be perfect like that. Like that. and like that alrighty those are our leaves. Now we're going to bring in our watermelon wonder and this little itty bitty flower. You see that? We're going to take our flower, just kind of randomly stamp like so. I love this color. It's one of my favorite, favorite colors. Definitely a pink girl, like so. All right. Now, that's it. That's all you're going to do for your stamping. Let's put our ink away. Now I went ahead and I wrote down. Oh, thank you so much. I know I was really excited to get my silver leaf. It's been a long time, but I finally did it. So thanks to my team and all my customers, I finally, finally achieved my goal. I'm now a silver leaf. So woohoo. All right. So here you go. Here are your measurements for your, um, the paper you're going to use for your card. This is again, this is what mine looks like. Now you'll notice on mine, I didn't put a greeting on the front. I like doing cards to have in my stash that don't have greetings just so if I want to add something later, I can. So this one can open this way or actually can flip and open this way. Okay. So you can do it either direction, but it's nice to have them. Then, you know, you just need to add a greeting. All right. So for your pieces, you're going to have your cucumber or sorry, your crushed curry. Um, that one's going to be eight and a half by five and a half, our standard, standard uh, card. Then your cucumber crush piece that goes on the next layer. Let me lay this over here so you can see. Our next layer that the label will layer on is four and a quarter by three. The watermelon wonder piece is going to be four and a half by three and a quarter. Thank you so much. Am I sideways again, guys? It didn't flip on mine. Did it flip? Somebody tell me. All right, and your white is gonna be five by three and three quarters. I flipped again. Oh, all right, hang on, sorry. You don't really, you don't really need 
need to see my PJs. All right, is it right now? Good now. Okay. Woot. All right. One day, guys, I promise we'll do it without flipping. All right, so again, here are your measurements, the Cucumber Crush, Watermelon Wonder, and the White. Got it? All right, I'm gonna lay that aside. So you will just take your card base and fold it. I forgot my bone folder. Oh well, that's what my fingernails for, right? And you're just gonna take your stamped label piece. And this is kind of slick on the back. So you can choose, um, if you wanna use fast fuse on it, I used that um, when I was creating in the studio with it the other day and it held a little bit better. But this one's gonna get, let's see if I can really stamp neatly with my brace on. Whoop, and I didn't lay it down. I'd like to blame that on the brace, but I'm just good at being crooked all on my own. There we go. Now you want to make sure when you're doing this, I took a piece of cardstock and laid on top of mine because that slick sheet that those labels are on, it can still retain some of that ink in between and you'll you'll find that it's easy to um, smudge your card. So um, I just put a little piece of cardstock on when I was adhering it so it didn't, didn't bring up the ink. Of course it didn't because I was preparing this time. <laughs> All right, then I have my Watermelon Wonder. So we're just gonna layer this one on top of my Watermelon Wonder. Like so. Somebody asked me at class, I think, I think it was a couple classes ago. Oh no, I think it was at the birthday bash. Somebody asked me how I get this even. My border's even. Oh, hi Brittany. Everybody say hi to Brittany. There's my daughter. Um, what I do is I just look at one corner here and I make sure that these are even. And if my cardstock is cut correctly, they should all line up. So just see that these are even and um, it should line up all the way around. Oh, look, Britt, you got your own band club. <laughs> Brittany and I are planning for Jason's first birthday party on Sunday. I can't believe it's here already. It's crazy. All right, once this one's done, we're going to take and just adhere this to the white. And this one, the border is a little bit wider on this one. You, I wanted to give it a little bit of a pop so that the colors in the center pop. So again, just take a peek at that and see. I think that's good. Like that. Now once you have this done, you're going to take some of this yummy new Watermelon Wonder Ribbon. Look at this stuff. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I'm hoarding this one. I love it. All right. This one is, well, I cut it at about 16 inches. You don't need that much. I was cutting happy when I cut it. And you're just going to pull it around. I know, isn't it yummy? Beautiful. Pull it around. And you're just going to tie... A little square knot on top. Sorry, I'm a little awkward with my brace on my hand. Tie a little knot like so. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it ties just gorgeous. Look at that. Now, if you're not going to mail it, you could always do a beautiful bow on there, but it's a lot to mail. Get our ribbon scissors and we'll just trim that. Like so. And then like so. Oops. Put that aside. And there you go. And then you're just gonna take this and adhere it to your card base. Like so. There you go. How easy is that? I mean, really, is that not a wow? I just love that. Look at the tile. I can't wait. I am going to be doing a lot of these guys, so I can't even tell you. You're going to get tired of me, but it's just beautiful. I think we're going to, oops, see, I did smudge it. Wow. Well. Anyway. Alrighty, so there's that. Now this stamp set is the one, for those of you who don't know, this was 
um, the one that's in celebration right now that's free with a $50 order, you can um, get this stamp set for free again. It's called Why I Love and it's on page seven of the celebration catalog. And if you would like to place an order, you can go to my online, oh, I know, seashells, right? I can't wait. You can go to my online store. It's at suitably stamped dot stampin up dot net and I have also have samples on there if you want to see some other samples um, and if you haven't friended me on Facebook or liked my suitably stamped Facebook page yet please come by and and friend me I would love to see you and I have lots of information on there for you too all right I think that's all I have for you tonight thanks for stopping by anybody have any questions before you go oh thank you for the hearts all right I guess that's it. You guys have a great night and I will have another fun project for you again soon. So stay tuned. Thank you. See you next time.